gents. Long time no see, but we are back in Ark Survival Evolved with me and my buddy Freaky Haircut here. We have our own private server, as that one video informed all of you, and we are going to be showing you how to run the South Central Cave on the island map. It's supposed to be the easiest cave, but that being said, it is still a cave, so do not take this lightly. What you're going to need is at least a pike, highly recommended. A uh, sword for certain occasions. I recommend a pick and a hatchet as well. Just in case you need to clear some debris or if you want to grab some resources if you got someone with a ton of weight like Mr. Priester here. And also a ranged weapon. I recommend either the bow or crossbow as guns do less damage to creatures as we all know. So the threats you'll face in here include mostly spiders, scorpions, millipedes, uh, titan boas, and if you're unlucky enough, which we may be today, you might even fight uh, Megalanians. So watch out for that Mega Rabies. If you don't have 300 health, Mega Rabies will guaranteed kill you. Be aware of that. Also be aware, as Freaky and I have found out many times, bolas down here do not work. Anything that should be bolded does not get bolded. Now that we've reached this point in the cave, it's nice and leisurely up to this point, either go right, which is mostly to explore notes and drops, or you can go left to the artifact. And the artifact run is actually very, very short and very, very easy, depending how you play things. There's a little cliff off to the left side here through all these plants. I would also recommend watching these plants for spiders and other baddies, because they do like to hide it. And say there's nothing here, but apparently there is. Usually there's quite a number of uh, bad guys here. You know, I have to shoot them with arrows. Many, many times before they die. Or... Uh, that spider is in the lower level of the wall. It just fell through the map. Okay, it's dead. Um, <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be the easiest artifact run ever. Drop on down. If you have a server that you can do derp jumping on, eliminate a little bit of damage there. In this cave, you will also easily find metal nodes. Some obsidian down here. Also, obviously, a bunch of rock piles. It's not great on resources, but it's not meant to be. Now, if any of you recognize artifacts from before, you'll notice this ridiculous pulse of light. Artifact of the Hunter. And if you bring two people down, there will be two artifacts of that, so don't worry if you're trying to get that achievement where you need to collect all the artifacts, you will be more than capable of doing that. The sound you just heard was a millipede in the wall. Oh, how D, sir. Oh. <laughs> Not All you gotta do is beat him to death. You're so inclined, but oddly enough, the Scorpion didn't make any noise. Quick note, depending how you build your character, this cave can be either difficult or very easy. I've mostly put a lot of melee damage into my guy, so I can beat the, beat the crap out of anything while Freaky shoots it. And if, if need be, Freaky can carry a lot of stuff, should I perish, or should I just want to grab some resources? Now, for some reason, this cave is very, very empty. Typically isn't this way, to be honest. Um, one thing you will want to take note of, don't go in the water. It may not seem so bad, but there's a lot of bad things in the water. Mostly, like, hundreds of piranhas. There's big old crocodilies in there, too. And also, watch out for that ridiculous glare when you look at the water. The wrong way, because the game likes to bug it. And... Maybe straight up, green drops are not worth dying for. Do you have a parachute, sir, Freddy? I do not, no. I'm sure you can. If not, check. I can. Ha ho! Ha ho! Oh, it's Oh, that was very easy. I need to hide. I went into the water for a second. 
while Frankie's making a parachute, I would recommend in terms of protective gear, you bring at least chitin armor. Chitin might be pretty good, because as you saw at the base at the beginning with the smithy and all that, you can just build and repair your armor in the cave, because you'll get plenty of chitin from killing all the enemies. But flak, as always, is better than chitin in basically every respect. Now, taking this route is questionable, as there's no way back over to there. Did you land here? Oh, there you are. Um, Ooh, um, but we got to say, uh, but I printed my own blueprint. What is that? What is that? Hatchy saddle. <laughs> this is the end of the right-hand path I showed you at the beginning, but it's easy to get here. There's a nice little leech dossier if you don't already have it. Plenty of crystal. Some obsidian. You want to grab some obsidian for you? So this isn't such a wasted trip. The only thing to be leery of in this area is if the cave isn't as empty as this is for some reason. Holy shit, guys. Um, you could get pinned here. But luckily, so close to the return. I cracked myself because I was not expecting that. <laughs> Some nice, nice trophies. Here's another one of those water pits where that Sarko just so unceremoniously leaped out of to try and murder me. So always be aware of the water pits. Don't get knocked into them. And you could have snakes and millipedes underwater, so always be aware of that as well. You can easily flank you. As you can see, there's a piranha glitching out of the water. Typical arc. And, Freaky, can you spot the next threat coming up? No. Alright, well, let's make money uh, on the ceiling. Let's make money on the ceiling. I just didn't make money, and I was looking at the ground the whole time. My first shot hit, but it didn't register. There's two of them. Three of them. Okay, Freaky, don't get oh, mega rabies. God. And this is why the only thing that comes up here. Now, as I slowly, slowly now, perish, slowly, slowly perish. Mega rabies will, over the course of 90 seconds, give you 300 points of health damage. Armor doesn't matter. Armor doesn't matter. Unless you have 300 health, which I don't, probably gonna get shit on. So, I wanted to do this without dying, Freaky, but this isn't going to be fun. Best thing to do in this situation is to always have hide on you. So, cozy little sleeping bag. Hopefully, it crafts before I die. And you have Mega Rabies Freaky. How yep. did you get Mega Rabies? I was standing freaky? behind you the whole time. I do not know. I was standing there behind you, and I was like, oh, there you go. I also believe you somehow reinfected me. Alright. Well, folks, we'll see you in a moment after our deaths, and we will uh, be right back here. Well, there you have it, folks. I forgot yeah. Freaky recently upped his health to 300, so he was perfectly capable of surviving that. What's your health at now? I imagine it's pretty low. Yeah, as low as it's 79. Kind of sucks, but he had some meat. Meat kept him alive. Right. There are a few drop spawns in this area. They're all greens. So not, not that hot. I want this parasaur saddle? No. I wouldn't recommend it, but occasionally there's a drop down in this pit as well. But piranhas and crocodiles will. Or be most likely. There's also obsidian at the bottom, so that's mostly the draw for anyone who would actually go in here. Still, wouldn't recommend. And near this one drop spawn, we also have Helena note number 12, hunting those explorer notes. And this is more of a middle path that goes off of the right path. Still very... Why are these all really slow? Um... This is just another little branch of set. And this is where I can showcase the backup pipe technique. You literally, back up, and this is why you use a pipe. 
because it will keep pushing certain enemies back where they won't be able to hit you. Although, if spiders do, or three spiders do well, they'll slow down on that. Spider Venom is, I wouldn't say the most lethal Venom, or the most potent, but it will catch you off guard the most because it takes so long. I probably won't get knocked out because the flak will mitigate it, like it already has, but it's a slow work. So be aware of that, and of this fella hiding in the corner. No, 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 no. No, no. Is that a snake? It works. Titan Bow. Oh, yeah, I see. So let's see if we get knocked out. So let's see if we get knocked out. Much like dealing with Trudons, much like dealing with Trudons. With Trudons. Once you get hit, and you, you know you're gonna hit. get knocked out, just go ham and murder him before you go to get knocked out of the match. And... Gillum's taking spider now. Humans will get knocked out at around 50 Torval. I think four to two. Yeah. Nope. About fifty-two, since so I have two points in the fortitude. You get knocked out. Freaky, would you mind carrying me to the next explorer note so I can show the people through my haze where the next one is? Let's see, I dropped a stimberry over here. I'm gonna pick that up and give it to you. It probably won't get me up. It The next concern. Now, if you can tell through the haze, Freaky's dragging me towards the ruins. More to the left, Freaky. There you go. There you go. There's an explorer note over here, which you probably can't see it, but we just passed it. Freaky, you walked right past it. What are you doing, man? There it is. It's a Capricocious dossier. So, if, again, you're looking for explorer notes or dossiers, this is where the third one would be, I guess, in this particular run. Ugh. And now, back onto the other path. This is the other path we didn't take when we came from the backwards direction, so you could be a little lost here. I will show you the way back. Up near this metal node and headless. There you go. There can be a green drop spawn that also spawns here, but as with the rest of the green drops, they're not exactly right. So I wouldn't go out of your way for them. Can you carry some of this stuff? Just because I don't know. Yes. Oh, God, wait. I can move like a human being. So, nothing too crazy exciting about this. Then up through this path will actually lead you back to where the cave first forked. Left way going to the artifact, right way going to the explorer maps. And most of the enemies, as you see. And that is basically it. Is why this is the easy cave. I, however, would not exactly take our experience as typical. I don't know where all the enemies were. It's usually a lot more difficult than this. But we are, of course, professionals. So, keep that in mind. But, that's all there is for the Southern Central Cave, or Cave of the Hunter, as I will call it, given its artifact. So, I hope you folks learned something. And this has been Freaky Haircut. And Doodleman149, and we will see you guys later. Whoa.